Hey everybody, in today's video I'm going to show you how you can create a leaderboard in Excel. So this is the same kind of logic that you're going to use whether you're creating um, or tracking standings in sports or if you just wanted to track which player has done best in let's say a game. So we can track things like points, kills, deaths. I've got a kill death ratio on this table as well. So if you want to track you know which player has done the, the best based on a variety of different metrics. I'm gonna show you how you can do that in Excel. So in this table, I've got a, a lot of different fields here, games played, points, kills, uh, deaths, kill death ratio. And so if you just wanted to sort these values based on points, that'd be really simple. All we need to do is sort the data. So if you just wanted to see, okay, rank these players in order of the most points, all you need to do is on the data tab, there's an option to sort from largest to smallest, right? That'd be a really simple criteria, obviously, because we're just sorting based on points. You could also um, sort based on multiple fields, for example. So if we go to the sort button here, we can say, okay, sort points from largest to smallest. We could add another level to say, okay, then let's also sort by kill death ratio, also from largest to smallest. Hit OK. And now we've got player two above player one, even though they've got the same number of points, but player two's got that better ratio. So in this example, we don't have an overall score. We're just applying sorting rules to this. So I'm going to undo this. And let's say we actually do want to create a scoring system. And this is going to be probably what you're going to want to do just to make it a lot easier for someone to see what their actual score is. Because sorting it based on multiple la layers of sorting rules isn't really as exciting as being able to see what someone's overall score is, right? So I'm going to add a field here for score. And how this field is calculated really is going to come down to, to what you want to emphasize as having the most importance. So in this example, let's say we want to want to use uh, points as our main criteria. Let's say we take 50% of that. And then let's say we want to factor in kills and deaths as well. And the kills death ratio already factors that in. So we can take that and multiply it by a factor of two. And when we do that, we get our, our score calculation. So player one had a score of 603.50. Now, if I copy this logic down, now we've got a ranking, a, a score for everybody. So now instead of sorting by uh, points and then this ratio, we can just sort based on the score. So I can sort from largest to smallest and we're done. So now we can see player four is in the top spot. They've got the most points, 754. Player two's got 603.67, so slightly more than player one. And so the difference, again, they've got the same number of points, but because player two has that better ratio and that's, that's factoring into our over, overall score, it's a lot easier to see the impact of that on the score, so as opposed to just sorting. So this is where, um, you know, you can apply different... Um, different weighting, right? You may want to apply a weighting to the number of games played as well, for example. So this is where you have uh, a lot of flexibility in how you assign um, how you assign your scores and how you want to weight this. And to make this a bit more organized, you may want to consider also putting these um, calculations in brackets so it's a lot easier to see, okay, we're looking at 0.5 of the value in column C. We're doubling the value in column F those sorts of things so it's a lot easier to conceptualize what we're what we're doing and then you know we can do something with with other factors if you wanted to as well but once we've got that in there it's uh you know it's an easy way to, to display the score and see who's doing the best now one thing you're going to want to do is obviously i have to copy this formally down but what's what will help is if you convert this into a table so if i go to insert table leave it checked that says my table has headers and by doing this what is going to happen is if i add another player let's say player 11 right and let's say they've got similar points they've played 25 games let's say they have 900 250 kills let's say 130 you know and we've got ideally put a formula for the kill to death ratio here as well we could have that in there paste that down so now You'll notice for the score, it automatically calculated 
the formulas for me. So one of the benefits of using a table format is as you add uh, more, more data to it, any formulas that you have will automatically calculate. So if we keep on adding players, keep on growing this table, these formulas will calculate. We don't have to worry about copying the cells down and um, recalculating that. So it's an easy way to make sure that that's always automatically expanding. And we can get rid of these filters if we don't need it, but they make the, the sorting process a lot easier. So if I sort it from largest to smallest, that's the, that's how we would refresh the data. So let's say th this uh, player 11 had 1500 points. Now let's resort this. So you know, notice on the table, it doesn't automatically resort here. So we'd have to re-trigger it, sort by largest to smallest. Now we've got player 11 now occupying that second spot. So that's how we could refresh the data and um, have it that it's all, that it's resorting it. So I could turn these filters off and I could still go to the data tab here and sort it. So the key thing is just selecting the column that I want to sort on, largest to smallest, and it'll refresh. So if I did smallest to largest, it would put in the opposite order. So depending on how you're scoring, in most cases I'd assume you're taking the highest score as a top rank. Now there is another way you can do this. Um, if you've got Office 365 and it's it's updated, what you can use is Excel's sort by function. And the benefit of using the sort by function is it's going to create a dynamic array that will automatically update for us. So if you just want to have this as your data table and you want to, to have your, your rankings somewhere else, it can do that for you as well. So for example, we use the sort by function. And so if you have it available, you obviously see it in when you type in the formula, if it's there or not. So if you do have it, you can select the array. So let's say we want to sort... We want the top players and we want this to sort them by their score and the sort order in this case is going to be descending we want the largest at the top and going downwards so i'm going to select minus one and now you'll see now i've got player four at the top so what i can do is move this down and let's say add a heading here say standings right in terms of um, in terms of their position. So now if I were to adjust this and say, okay, let's say um, player 10 actually has 1,700 points. You can see automatically here it's updated. Player 10's right at the top. Here I would still have to go in and refresh the data. I'd have to go in and resort it. So the benefit is if you do have this sort by function on, on your version of Excel, you can, you can set this up and it'll dynamically automatically update uh, update that for you. Now, if you want to reproduce the, the whole table, not just, you know, just have the, the player rankings, what we can do is for this table, instead of just selecting the, the player, we can select the entire table. And now when we do that, we've got all those fields again. So what I could do in this case is let's say copy these values, paste them, and just apply a consistent format to them. So maybe just adjust some of the formatting numbers. And now we've got another table here that's got our updated scores and it's always gonna update. So let's say player three, let's say they got 2000 points. Player three now jumped up to the top here. So even though it updated here in this table, it did not update, but in this array using the sort by function, because it's dynamic, it's an array, it's always going to refresh automatically for us. So. That's how we can create an easy leaderboard in Excel. And at this point, the only things left to do is really just really add some formatting potentially to this to say, okay, let's uh, you know clean it up, make it look a little nice, highlight the scores. What you could also do is add some conditional formatting. So I could just add some plain formatting to highlight the score, but you could also do something like conditional formatting. So we can have data bars for the scores Right, so we can see something like that, a nice effect to see, okay, how far away the, the bottom player is from the top player. Things to visually show how well they're doing. So a lot of ways that you can track scores and create a leaderboard in Excel. And really, this is the same logic whether you're tracking um, a standings in sports or in a video game, whatever the case is, is, is the key thing to remember is you want to put your data into a table. So it's a lot easier if you've got formulas 
that'll automatically update. So if you add more data, more players, it'll update. And also consider your consider setting up a, a weighting for your scoring system. You know, w what factors should be the most important, the second important, and so on and so forth. You can obviously make this as complex of a scoring system as you want. The key thing is it, knowing what's important and how much of a weight you want to assign to, to each value. In this case, points obviously is going to probably be the most important, uh, the score that was earned. And then, you, you know, you have secondary values like a, a, like a ratio in terms of kills of death to see, you know, how, how a player did. So, and you can also have negative ones as well that detract from the total score. Like if they played a lot more games than everybody else, for example, you can subtract that. So other, other things that you can factor in to that score. And that's the key element of making an effective leaderboard to make it easy to to visually display someone's score and how well they're doing because if you're just sorting the data it's not going to give the same effect it's going to be a bit more ambiguous whereas if you put a score in there it makes it really easy to see how far someone is from that that next person and to, to give a better idea of just how big of a difference is from that top performing player to that bottom performing player and w what that gap looks like. But as you can see with Excel, it makes it really easy, especially if you've got that sort by function, which again is, is available on Office 365. Uh, and so if you've got an updated version, you should have that on there and that'll make it a lot easier to create this kind of leaderboard where it automatically updates based on new, new values and update, updated information. So that's a wrap for this video. If you did like it, please, Please make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.